Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Faith Chapter 3. My name is Tom, otherwise known as Titanium Legman, and uh, this is the whole time in here. We spent our time in previous episodes searching the apartment, trying to figure out what exactly was going on here, and if we were missing anything. Couldn't figure out anything of particular note, but we did get the key to Lisa's apartment, so uh, only one thing to do now, but see what's up in here. Indeed, it is. Um, what's over here? Another key. If you wish to break the seal of Alu, or maybe just Alu, the seal of Alu. Your answer lies in the blood-stained knife and the face hiding in the deep dark. That's what the knife is for, but only those who have ascended to the highest point can descend to the lowest depths. Remember Gary loves you. Okay. Well, I mean, the blood-stained knife, that is self-explanatory. I'm assuming this key will let us into the locked room on the 10th floor, which will then allow us to get into... <sighs> the basement? I mean, we can get to the basement anyway, it just kills us. Maybe going from the 10th floor protects us somehow? Maybe. Something weird about that seal, I mean... Yeah? Oh! Well, what the hell? Yeah? I don't like that the music is even more wobbly when we look at this. Well, knife and mask, I mean... That was pretty self explan or well, not self explanatory. Clearly stated by the um Ah no, that music is just more wobbly in general now. Good. Um That was much more obvious, I think, from the note than from anything else. I still know I'm obviously I'm recording these episodes back to back right now. Maybe not obvious to you, but it's obvious to me. And I'm just still so stuck on like what's up with this? What's up with this? Why is, like... Doesn't seem to do anything. Ah! What? Uh... Yeah? Elevator friend? I thought... Are we good? Okay, I thought to hold up. I know I've looked at this note like three times last episode, but I mean that was definitely elevator friend. I really would have thought that to have them show up, it would have had to do with the sequence in the bottom right, but that I mean that's was just an Easter egg, I guess. Huh. That's interesting. Um, okay, well, I guess we should go up to the second floor then. See if we can't get the knife. Oh. 
I see they've left out the welcome wagon for us. I'm sorry, hello? What you doing up there, bud? No, you didn't find shit! You didn't find shit! That was a way more organic voice, by the way. That was not a Microsoft Sam sounding voice at all. What did it say? I found you and something else? The knife now has blood on it. Aha. Oh. Oh, we just need to exercise it. I figured we needed to take it, but... I would like to get in here, game. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to, but like, there's clearly a a basement crawl. What? Don't do it. Follow. I I will hunt you down. Is that what it, what it said? What the actual fuck? Bro. Oh, he's just gonna be everywhere. Well, come on then. Let's go. Come on. Do it. I was afraid of Michael. You think I'm afraid of you? You're just gonna... He's gonna vibe? Um... <laughs> What? I can't understand. Like, I'm actually better able to understand the Microsoft Sam voice than that voice. What the act? Oh, I don't even know where I'm going now. Uh, I guess all the way up. Should I be doing something about Elevator Friend? By the way, like, wait, it was three. Yeah, three B was open before, right? Yes. Man, there's a lot happening suddenly. Okay, so elevator friend is here. I'm, I'm. I don't know if I did made that happen by spamming on the seventh floor, or if he's just hunting us because we're now trying to get the stuff. I I'm inclined to think that's probably the answer. Because like we need some sort of adversary to be hindering our progress while we're trying to unlock this seal, you know. I'm also, like, inclined to just take the elevator to the 10th floor, but, like... Oh, I saw you. Come on. Hello? Why? Oh, well, I heard hello and why that time. I'm inclined to take the elevator to the 10th floor, but I kind of want to see if anything else has changed in the hallways. And especially... Wait, there was candles outside this door. Why? Hello again. Oh wait, there wasn't? I guess they were just in the hallway. I think he said, I found you in time to go. Oof, apologies, had to sneeze. <clears throat> Hi there, I see you. Come on down. I know you want to. Why? Why? Well, you see, you're going to kill me. And I know that for a fact. I wonder if that's Alu. There's no way, right? I feel like he's just a, some sort of minor a trickster demon or something. I feel like Alu's gonna be a way bigger threat. Oh god. Yeah, okay, where are you? All over tonight? What? Oh hey! God, he's so fast. Come on, scamper down. Oh, 
Oh, interesting. Is there something about the game? What? Time to play elevator game. Oh, there's more numbers. Uh huh. No wonder I couldn't get that to work. It wasn't just four numbers, it was at least eight, maybe more. One, four, two, six, two, ten, five, one. Uh huh. And notably, these are the only two notes. Because then we go over to this, those who keep knocking on forbidden doors. Hmm. Maybe now I can play the elevator game. Okay. Okay. That's progress, baby. Nice. That's, man, that's such clever game design. You think about it, because it's like, okay. So, you've got this demon hunting you. Now that you, um, have, like, activated the quest for the knife and the mask, so to speak. And it's obviously pursuing you all over the place. And you're inclined to be like, well, I'll just take the elevator to the floors that I need to go to. Right, no seventh floor. Um, so you could do that, but the game puts all these tantalizing candles all over the place that are new, especially if you were diligent and explored the apartment previously. I guess kind of now we kind of have to take the elevator, though. Um... So you're inclined to go through and check everything to see if anything has changed or anything else has changed other than the candles, which gives you ample opportunities to get attacked by the elevator friend, giving you opportunities to repel him, which then after enough attempts, I guess maybe exercises him. I Again, I feel like it's not that easy, but exercises him, so to speak, and gives you the second half of the elevator game puzzle. Very clever. Very, very clever. So now, of course, we have to try it. All right, and I'm going to jot down the order, just in case, like, going into your menu breaks it or something. Games are weird about that type of thing sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna pull up my wee little notepad here. Okay. So, according to my notes, Thank God they made these revisitable, huh? So, it's one, four, two, six, two, ten, five, one. Sorry if you hear a little bit of buzzing in the background, it's the alarm on my switch. <laughs> okay. So starting from one, we're going to four. Do 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 Again, I don't know if I need to step out. Ooh, that's hmm you know. If I were a game developer, I would be inclined to not step out of the elevator, as this would be, in my mind, the confines of this minigame's zone, right? Because it is the elevator game, not the elevator and hallway game. So, we're going to start over, we're going to stay in the elevator. Four. I'm assuming that us getting on the elevator at one is correct, and this is how the note says that the first floor is a good place to start. Okay, so that's four. Now we go to two. Then we go to six. Then we go back to two. Boo do 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 <laughs> and we'll go to 10. Not stopping to go into that locked room yet, because we want to see if this works with the elevator game. But we will be doing that. Then 5, and then back to 1. And that will hopefully, maybe, achieve some sort of result for us. We'll have to see. With any luck, it will. 
do 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 We're just going to go to the first floor. We're going to the 10th floor. I hit the first floor. Holy shit. Oh, do I have to... Do I have to re-exercise? Oh god, I don't even have the note, do I? Oh no, 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 no! I wonder if I can still do it. I wonder if it still works. Okay. I'm gonna go... Back to the first floor. I guess, yeah, because I don't even have the dagger yet. Alright, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go back to the first floor. I'm gonna try the elevator game again. I definitely did not hit the 10th floor. I hit the first floor. That lady took me to the 10th floor. Is that the elevator game? That didn't have anything to do with the... The, the elevator friend, though. Oh, God. Okay. Take it from the top. Oh, I was going to try and exercise her. I wasn't expecting her to just insta-give me. I was so uncalled for, ma'am. I was also really hoping she wasn't going to be on the elevator if I hit it fast enough. <laughs> There's some va like vain hope that's like, if I didn't let the animation finish, she wouldn't be on the elevator anymore. Oh, man. Was that Tiffany? Nah, Tiffany rejected the, the gift of the of the unknowable or whatever it was. Okay, so let's see. So now we go to the second floor, right? Then we go to the tenth floor, then we go to the fifth floor, then we go to the first floor. And when we went to five is when she got on before. I was looking at my numbers. I thought I messed something up. <sighs> if she gets on again at five, I wonder if we just try to leave or try to exercise her. Let's see. Don't get on. Do not get on. Don't show up. Don't be here. Don't get on. Please. Okay. Interesting. I see. I hit one. I hit one, but it's taking us to ten. Interesting. Very interesting. And this is open now. But there's a seal. Curious. What the hell? Uh, yeah, I was thinking we needed to exercise elevator friend before we got there, but I 
I'm sorry, what? Is this a painting or is this a window out over the city? If it's a painting, it's weird, but like, fine. If it's a window out over the city, it's extremely concerning that there's just a cross in the sky? That doesn't seem good. That doesn't seem good at all. Note how the elevator isn't on any particular floor. Uh-huh. Whoa! Hello! Elevator friend and Timmy, perhaps? Did you go in here? Um, I'm getting the tinglies. I'm freaked out a bit. Not gonna lie, I'm a wee bit distressed. This has to be something that we de deal with after we exercise elevator friend, right? Like, I'm assuming this is like a, ah, you cheated to get here by looking up how to do the elevator game, but now you can't do the thing until you exercise the elevator friend, I'm guessing. But then what happened with the lady? What was that about? Is that just random chance? Or did she show up because we had to exercise elevator friend? Trying to stop us? Because this is also clearly a different 10th floor than the one we know. Like if we try to go to the 10th, no, it still says 10th floor, hmm. Wait, but now it says we're on the 10th floor, though. Note, see how the elevator light is there? Yeah, whoa, okay. Oh, again, I got the tinglies. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is so weird, man. Okay, so... <sighs> I guess... You know what? I don't... I think... I think because of where it's saved... I don't think I ever even got the key in Amy's apartment. Or not Amy, uh, Lisa's apartment. Now that I think about it, I don't think we got that. Let's see. Because if that's the case, then our friend, the elevator friend, wouldn't even be after us, right? Yeah, because like, we don't have the thing, like the painting on the wall or anything. Right, we exercise it. And then that shows up. Nice. And we go in here, right, okay. So now we've got that, cool. Now, I'm assuming elevator friend is after us. Only one way to find out, I suppose. Let's see if he shows up as we're going room to room. Um, I want, hmm. I mean, again, it, it doesn't... I was going to say, should we do the elevator game before we mess with the dagger? But again, I'm assuming that we need to exercise elevator friend before that seal that we can get to using the elevator game goes away. So I'm assuming we need to go for the dagger. Right? Presumably. Do 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 do. All right, there's the candles. Still got my finger on the crucifix trigger. Hop ha! Catch the elevator, friend. Wherever he may appear. Nice. 
So now that's one aspect of the seal gone. So I'm guessing Lisa's in there and possessed or something, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming that that's where this is going. Are there more candles out here than there were before? I think there are. Also, no elevator friend yet. Right? He definitely shown up by this point. I'm I'm pretty confident. Like all the candles are here, but Oh, you know, maybe that was what is it, Debbie? Timmy's mom? Maybe that was Timmy's mom. Possessed. Become a member of the cult, you know? Where the hell is Elevator Friend? Well, we just got lucky with how often he showed up before, but I feel like that's not the case. And I'm assuming trying to go down to the basement still kills us. Because we haven't gone into the manager's office. Or Malfass's office. Oh, ho, ho, just thought of that. Yeah, no, I'm good, thanks. I'm good, thanks. Uh, okay, interesting. So did I accidentally summon Elevator Friend by spamming on the seventh floor then? Because that's when we first saw him. But I assumed that that was just like a little Easter egg. I figured he was just an adversary to get in our way while we were trying to get the dagger and stuff, but let's try it. Oh yeah, look at that. Again, I mean, it could just be an Easter egg. It could just be an Easter egg. Does he show up now? He does, look at that, okay. Have to go. <laughs> okay. Very interesting. I did not expect that. Okay, so now we exercise him. And then we see if the seal is broken. And hopefully avoid getting... You didn't find anything. I found you, Buster Brown. Um... Oh, that was tricky. I didn't even hear him breathing that time. Normally you do. That's freaky, actually. I think I figured that the game would always have a tell, not that just that he could randomly show up. Oh, I don't like that, actually. Where are you? I completely lost my train of thought now. Oh, where are you at, bud? I, I, now I know you're here. There you are. God, my shoulders are hunched. I'm so tense now. Yeah, oh, you! Twice now. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We just got lucky before, man. I legitimately don't remember what I was going to say before that happened. Where the hell is he? Bro, come on, you're killing me. <laughs> no! What? And then it puts us back here. Well, I'm resolving this shit before we end this episode, goddammit. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna summon him again, and we're gonna deal with his ass. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back. I'll see you in your dreams. That's what he said. 
Okay. Oh, man. That was weird. So when I summoned him that time, I didn't actually know that I summoned him because I spammed the crap out of uh, the seventh floor and I didn't see him show up. I'm assuming I spammed like past him showing up. So I wasn't sure if he was actually hunting me until he just showed up out of the ceiling without any warning. <laughs> okay. So we have successfully, um, we have successfully exercised our good friend here. I've acquired the key and I've exercised the, uh, the knife. So now the only thing we have left to do is to actually play the elevator game. So we're going to play the elevator game. We're going to hopefully not get got by the lady. I'm assuming Debbie. And we're going to see if that seal is gone on the phantom 10th floor. So let's do it. We're going to do that. And then that'll be the last thing we do for the episode. Hopefully successfully, because I would hate to have to do all that again. I don't know if we could, like, have done all of that and then finish getting the other item, the mask, to go with the knife, and if maybe that would, like, give us a save point or something, but frankly, I'm too afraid to try, lest something else kill us. So we're just going to rock with what we got. And we're going to keep a vigilant eye out for the woman I'm assuming is Debbie. Each of these sections has been so in-depth, by the way. Like... You think back to Faith Chapter 1 and how much simpler and more straightforward it was. And, like, comparatively how much less was going on. Like, it was still obviously really, really good. That's why we have Chapter 2 and Chapter 3 and everything in the the grandiosity that they have. Here we go. But it's still so impressive to see. Is she going to show? No. What? And the elevator game worked. What the? That was just like a random chance thing. That's insane. Uh, you guys got to let me know if any of you have encountered this lady and like what the trigger is for her because that was so weird. That was such a random event to have happen. Is it gone? It's not really. Huh. That's surprising to me. Has anything else changed up here? Oh, mm -hmm. let's see. What if we could go to the seventh floor now? Right now that we've banished the elevator friend. Who seems to be the guardian? Wait. I don't know if like maybe that was a hint that I needed to hold my cross up to this. Hmm. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe we can go to the seventh floor now. And then this is unrelated. Maybe this has to do with like breaking the what was it, the seal of Alu or something? Also, let's see, does the elevator friend show up with Timmy now if we Go to the left from this door, like last time. He does! Oh, so he also hasn't been permanently dealt with, notably. Hmm, that is also very interesting. Huh. Okay. Oh, come on. Th get your foot off the corner there, John. I just wanted to see if maybe he shows up again if we go around this way, but no, the answer is no. Okay. I'm going to try to go to the seventh floor and just see if that works, and then we'll call this. No. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, yeah, let's go to the first floor. And then I will call this one, and when we come back, we will see if we can't get ourselves a mask by going to the 10th floor and then descending to the pit from the pinnacle, which is also a really good ghost song. From the pinnacle to the pit. All right, guys. This has been very interesting. This is... 
there was a lot of cool stuff that happened this episode. Uh, when we come back, we'll see if we can't break the seal of Alu and find Lisa. But until then, thank you all so much for watching. I do very much appreciate it. If you know someone that you think would enjoy this episode or any of my other content, if you shoot them a link, that would just be swell. Until the next time, though, I hope you all have a good night. Don't forget to hit the like button. Stay safe and healthy out there. And remember, be good to each other. Bye now.